Oh, it is getting weird. Hello there, and welcome to Dino Diet Tribes. I'm Soltis from the Our Midnight Cake podcast, where my friends and I hang out and talk about movies and stuff. It's a good time. Now, before I begin, I want to thank you for the well wishes and support. I'm fully recovered, and I don't know about you, but where I live, health insurance is like a joke. Some people just can't get it. <laughs> anyway, a few of the stories I found amusing are... Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos was reported to be disappointed after the Amazon Prime series, The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, turned out to be a greater failure than Amazon anticipated. In an effort to justify the company's $1 billion investment, several shakeups are now in the works, starting with the head of series development, Mark Restigini, who is exiting the company during the surprise restructuring of management. Restigini's responsibilities will now be divided and shared among Two other executives. No word on whether those two executives will be fired for their responsibilities to be divided among four other executives, and so on. <laughs> it was also rumored that the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power showrunners, J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay, will most likely not be publicly fired, but the role will be somewhat diminished. When asked for clarification, Bezos said, the toilets aren't going to clean themselves. It's almost like entrusting a series built around a beloved collection of genre-defining stories and characters written by an author as revered as Tolkien and the most expensive series ever made to a couple of J.J. Abrams acolytes with no experience, compounded by a cast and production staff full of activists who are either incompetent, despise Tolkien's work, or a bit of both, was a really bad idea. Nobody saw that coming? Nobody. Nobody said, Hey, wait a minute. This is awful. Nobody. <laughs> Find that hard to believe. CEO and president of Warner Brothers Discovery, David Zasloff, has named James Gunn and Peter Safran co chairman and CEOs of DC Studios. In their new roles, Gunn would handle the creative side, while Safran will focus on the business aspects. Through a spokesperson, Zaslav clarified his business strategy moving forward by saying, <laughs> Suck it, Feige! Oh, and speaking of guns, on the anniversary of the shooting and killing Helena Hutchins and injuring Joel Sousa, Alec Baldwin seemingly wanted to remind everyone that he shot and killed Helena Hutchins and injured Joel Sousa by posting her photo with the caption, One year ago today. Yep, that happened. The Post has received widespread criticism for what many consider to be the tone-deaf and inappropriate nature of a killer commemorating his victims. Among Baldwin supporters was former NFL star and multiple murderer O.J. Simpson, who commented, It's been 28 years and five months since my last killing, but there's always tomorrow. In other news, it was leaked that Disney might be making another Star Wars movie. Or they may not be. Honestly, it's difficult to keep track of all Kathleen Kennedy's failed projects at this point, and even more difficult to care. The as-of-yet unnamed film is reportedly being written by Bad Robot alum Damon Lineloff, with Charmaine Obey Chinoy in talks to direct. Fans of the now-floundering franchise have expressed confusion as to whether or not this film will actually be made. A sentiment that appears to be echoed by Disney itself, with CEO Bob Chapek reportedly saying, Ugh, I wish she'd shut up. Hasn't she cost us enough money already? And finally, in a recent statement by an anonymous media executive, Kanye West was declared a bigger threat to public safety than Jeffrey Epstein by the mainstream media. When asked for comment as to why there was so much antagonism towards the controversial superstar, the source responded, It's one thing to provide a pedophile island servicing media and entertainment executives and other VIPs. We've all done it. Nobody cares. It's another thing entirely to criticize the Juminati that run the entertainment and media industries. My boss, Mr. Goldberg, says so. <laughs> Hey 
If you happen to enjoy this tirade and want to show your support, please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. I'll see you next time. Bye.